Oceans North is working with fishers, boat builders, technology providers, and policymakers to find solutions to support marine decarbonization. The science is clear. We need to reach zero emissions by 2050 in order to prevent the worst impacts of climate change. Climate change poses a growing concern to the health of the lobsters and their habitat. Lobsters could become susceptible to disease and experience increased molting and reduced fertility. Oceans North is partnering with Member to First Nation and Remote to work towards an emissions-free fishery. My name's Hubert Nicholas. I'm the director of fisheries for Member Two First Nation, and we are right now on our uh, boat yard our compound where we build boats and hopefully expand to uh, build brand new boats in the near future. Hubert has the goal of building an emissions-free fishing fleet. There are many barriers in front of him to do so, but Member Two First Nation are used to overcoming barriers. As Mi'kmaq, we are relatively new to the fishery. We were shunned out of it. And now since the Marshall decision of 1999, Mi'kmaq finally entered the commercial fishery. So the way I've been managing the fishery or trying to manage it is that we need that longevity. And part of managing that is managing the ecosystem as well. In order to know what alternative fuel source would be best for a fishing boat, Hubert must first gather data on the Member 2 fleet's diesel engine. Remote has sent two of its employees to gather the data. We're just trying to study what electric boats are out there in the world and how do they operate and what do they do and that kind of thing. And it's like, no one's making perfect Nova Scotian lobster fishing boats <laughs> that meet all of our requirements. I'm a lot interested in this yeah. because we have a boat building facility that we just started, awesome. right? And Very if we could cool. kind of get in the forefront of this. Kind oh of my goodness, yeah. Yeah, yeah. yeah, especially where you've been in this field, in this location for yeah. so long, you're looking out for the captains and the vessel owners. Yeah. Marissa and Erica of Remote are installing hardware directly on the boat. The information they gather will help fishers make a choice on whether to invest in an electric engine. So what we're doing right now is we are installing a GPS module with a data logger. We're measuring the wind speed, the pitch and roll of the boat on the water as it goes. When we can bring physical data for how much energy they're using, then it can start to empower them to decide in the future if they want to electrify their vessel. Remote's data logger calculated the fuel usage in different types of weather over multiple fishing trips. The data was sent back to the office automatically to be analyzed. Here you can see this is our fuel flow rate versus the travel speed. So the yellow is the fuel rate and then green under here is the travel speed. When it's sitting on the water, the fuel rate still sits consistently like right along this line. So it shows that it still has a large amount of fuel flow even though the speed is pretty much zero. We're hoping with this we'll be able to gather insights that like when we're not even aware of yet. You know how it's like, you don't know what you don't know. So we're hoping to find some unknowns. I'm hoping that all this information they gather now proves, uh, you know, how inefficient that we really are. We need to better manage our fisheries. We need to better manage the ecosystem. As an industry, we need to do our part. As government, they need to do their part. You know, I see it as generational. Uh, our communities depend on the income, our communities depend on the jobs, but it's not something that will be there if it's mismanaged. And, you know, part of managing that is uh, managing the ecosystem as well. 